Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to a shed project. So today we are finally going inside the shed. We're going to be painting. So this is an unfinished 10 by 16 shed. It's going to be my workspace. And the first step is going to be painting all the walls. Um, this is going to be a long process of putting this shed together. I've got ship to go up, I've got pegboards, I've got a workbench. But first we're going to paint, brighten up the whole space so that filming in here when we're doing projects will be easier and so that it's just white and bright and easy to clean. We've got to take some boxes out. And my brother is here, so we are going to just be painting, painting, painting all day. Let's go. Oh, we hung the ship flap this morning and now we're starting to paint. We've got to do the whole roof. All the walls, the doors, we've got a primer and a paint. We're just going to get to work.
All right, y'all, we are on day two in the shed. You can see we're just starting on the regular paint. The primer is definitely splotchy in parts, but that is why you do primer and then paint so that it can soak it in, especially this plywood is very, very thirsty. It really drinks in the primer and then you put your paint on top of that. So we are going to keep going. We've got our brushes. We've got the little four inch rollers, which really do a good job on the uh, smaller two by fours. And then we've got the big roller for the spaces in between. Hopefully we have more help coming this afternoon, but y'all painting the inside of a shed is a beast. And if if I could handle buying more paint to put in my sprayer, we'd be spraying this bad boy. So let's get working. It is cold today. We close the doors because it is, it is cold. So. The shed is painted. It took two days, four people, countless hours of work. The real MVP was my brother who almost single-handedly did the entire ceiling. My mom's boyfriend, Jim, did come and help with the big roller, do the flat sections. But my little brother, my, my big little brother, <laughs> painted every single beam, every single nook, every single cranny of the entire ceiling. And I, I have an inner ear disorder. I literally cannot look up for long periods of time, let alone on a ladder. So I physically was incapable of doing that. I am so grateful that he is willing to help me with projects like this. I can do a lot of things, but that is one that I, 
I used to be able to do, I can't anymore, and it really gets to me. So I'm very grateful that he came and helped. But shed is painted, the ship left is up. It's a big room that I now have to put pegboards up, put my workbench in, but we're getting closer and closer and closer to actually being able to use the shed as workspace. Obviously, I still need to put down some kind of floor or paint the floor. I haven't decided uh, which. I'm leaning towards a roll of like vinyl or linoleum. I want to fix the seams on the shiplap. You can see my boxes. They made handy dandy paint tray holders for the ladder boys, um, but they actually hold hot pink wall control metal pegboards that are going to go on this whole wall for all my tools. I have a storage organizational system coming for that side. It's going to be excellent. My goal is by the end of the month to have it be functional so I can use the space, even if it's not finished. My entire mood board for this space is crazy and includes finishing the outside. So that's still going to be a very long process, but y'all, the shed is done being painted. <laughs> I use very high quality paint for most of my projects for a shed outside. I did not. I literally went to the uh, hardware store. I could not think of the name. I wanted to say paint store. I went to the hardware store and I bought Valspar's uh, just least expensive primer and sealer for the walls and then top coat over that. I did go with a satin finish so that it's a little cleanable. But this is a shed, we're not going to be cleaning the walls that often, if ever, unless things actually get on the walls. Um, either way, the whole thing took two gallons of primer and two gallons of paint. Now that did not include this back wall that was shiplapped. So if you were doing a shed this size, this is a 10 by 16 walls and ceiling, including the back wall, you will probably need three gallons of primer and paint because obviously this long wall is the longest wall in the shed and it will take quite a bit to finish all on its own. Um, it was about $100 to do the shiplap on the back wall instead of paint. Another paint can and primer can would have been about $40. I think this was a better solution even if it's not perfect yet. So I'm very, very excited. Uh, painting is not super hard, but it is a process. We did quickly learn that while the larger roller was great for these sections, those smaller four inch roller maps with the little tiny rollers were perfect for all of these two by fours. And then we just had to take a brush and get into the seams. So it was a process of painting the corners of all of our studs, painting the sides, and then painting the face of the wall. We started with some foam rollers because I really like those my finished walls, but this is a shed. It is not a perfect shed. There are little nails and screws almost everywhere in the ceiling, not really in the walls, and they ate the foam up. So these are literally the cheapest little foam, um, or not foam, polyester knit rollers that you can get at Walmart and we found that of all the roller naps I have I worked at Sherwin Williams for years I have a lot of paint supplies uh, these works the best go figure so you know sometimes back to basics is all you need either way the, sh <laughs> the paint is up um, I have to dig my workbench out my dad got me a workbench for Christmas it is very, very heavy, and my mom has hidden it in her dining room. Got to gotta get it out of there somehow. That would probably also involve my little big brother. So we will get that in here, get the pay words up. All these videos will be coming your way soon. If you want to see something specific, or if you have an opinion on what I should do with the floor, I need it to be cleanable and inexpensive. Let me know in the comments down below, but for now, you're going to say, go take a nap. All right, I'm so tired. When we started painting the primer on this ceiling, my brother got two panels done in almost two hours. We were thinking this was going to take weeks. It took us two full days, and we had to call in reinforcements twice, but got it done. So 
I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.